All right, this is problem number two on the homework. Um, the way you find out uh, this angle X, which is this angle over here to the right. Uh, first, if you look here, we have an isosceles triangle because this is a radius. This is a radius. Like any line you draw from the center to like the edge of the circle is a radius. So all of these would be congruent. But we're just worried about the ones right here. So those are congruent. So this is a triangle with two congruent sides, which is an isosceles triangle. And I labeled an A here and a B here. So if you redraw this triangle, where this is O and this is A and this is B, since it's an isosceles triangle, remember base angles of an isosceles triangle are congruent. So if this is 55 degrees, angle A, that means angle B is also 55 degrees. So what we do is we solve for O. We want to find out what O is. So we've got 55 degrees plus 55 degrees. You add that up, you should get 110 degrees. And we know that the internal angle sum of a triangle is 180. So 180 minus 110 gives you 70. So the measurement of angle O is equal to 70 degrees. Now look at this triangle as a whole right here. Don't forget, we gotta, we got to use the property that this, since this is a tangent line, you have to assume that this is a right angle because a tangent line to a circle is always perpendicular to the radius of a circle. So I'm going to redraw this triangle. I'm going to call this point here. You can call it anything you want. I'm going to call it C. I'm going to draw a triangle O, A, C. And again, this is a right angle at angle A. And I solve for angle O, which is 70 degrees. I know this is 90, and if I want to find x, what x is, I just do 90 plus 70. Uh, that's going to be 160. Then I do uh, 180 minus 160, and then I get x is equal to 20 degrees. So that's how you work that problem. Uh, good luck.